This is your weekly dose inch, and this week, tamper-proofing bulk products. What are bulk products, and why do we tamper-proof? Well, bulk products are patient-specific multi-dose medications like inhalers, creams and ointments, eye and ear drops, nasal and throat sprays, and insulin pens. Some of these products come pre-tamper-proofed by the manufacturer, and others we in the pharmacy need to tamper-proof before they head out. Why do we tamper-proof? Well, let's look at two of our worst offenders here in the pharmacy. As you can see, there's labels that have been ripped off. They've been brought back to the pharmacy and returned to the bins for use. But both of these products, they've been used. The Flonase is harder to tell. There's literally zero tamper proof from the manufacturer. The Advair is a lot easier. When you open up the box, you can clearly tell the foil pack is no longer intact. The dose counter is off, it's been used. Neither of these products should have been returned to the bin for use. Both should have been disposed of in their appropriate stericycle container when returned to the pharmacy. So why do we tamper proof? So unused products only get dispensed from pharmacy and we know every time. Well, what would both of these products look like if we appropriately tamper proof them before they left the pharmacy? Let's start fresh, first with the Advair. Why don't we just remove it from the box? That way, we send its own sealed foil packaging as the tamper-proof itself. If you stick it in its own clear plastic bag, you can tell at a glance when it gets returned to the pharmacy if the product's been used or not. And guess what? Label right on top. Now let's do the Flonase. So as you can see, it doesn't come tamper-proofed at all. When you open the top, it's just the product. So let's seal it up correctly. Let's utilize our tamper-proof stickers. First, let's cover the bottom. When you go to stick the sticker on, you wanna be careful. You don't wanna cover important information, like in this case, the barcode. That way it's clear when you go to scan it. On top, you don't wanna cover the lot or the expiration date, so put it a little above. Oops, broke the sticker. In that case, what do you do? Don't piecemeal it together, just get a new one and stick it right over top. That way, as you can see, both the top and the bottom are now appropriately tamper-proofed. Now when you bring either of them back, you'll know at a glance it's been used or not. That's why we tamper-proof.